Hey guys, it's Hannah here and welcome to April Favourites. I can't believe the month of April is over. It was school holidays and it is just ridiculous. It's gone and tomorrow is May. Thursday is May. Whatever Thursday is. But I have some favourite products for the month of April. So let's get started. And I'm actually going to start with skincare because I have two favourites for skincare. The first is the Garnier... Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. I love this stuff. It is so much cheaper than Bioderma, but it is the exact same thing. I have used this every night to take off my makeup. And it says it has 200 uses. I feel like it doesn't. But it doesn't mind. It's a huge bottle. It's 400 mils, and it still is going to last a really long time. So I love that. And for my eyes... I've been using the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. This is really good. I do about... A, so it comes with like this safety seal. And then I do about four drops. Not drops, so like one, two, three, four. On a cotton round. One for each eye. Just hold it there, wipe it off, and it is gone. Everything is gone, and it is just amazing. It's, it's really works really well, and I have super sensitive eyes and skin, so this works really well for me, and it doesn't irritate it. That's why I really like that. I tried a lot of foundations this month. I kind of was going through all my samples, and I have had three that are really, really successful. First is the... Lancome Miracle Taint in, so it's like the air one. I did a review on this, but I called it the Taint Miracle, which what it's not it, so, so it's in favourite of Alfred. It's coming up, but I really like this. The tone of it looks really kind of grey. I can't not see if you can tell, but it looks really kind of grey and gross, but it actually works really well for my skin tone because I have a really neutral skin tone and everything else looked really yellow on me so this one's actually really good I really like it, it's really light coverage and I'm not going to speak too much about it because I did talk about it in a favourite of Fail Friday coming up so I have that the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation in Mont Blanc I really like this as well I'd rather the Sheer Glow though I don't know it dried really quickly, I loved the colour of this though because the colour is absolutely amazing so I'm going to try the Sheer Glow next time I can but for summer, this is going to be great. But because we're coming into autumn, it was kind of a bit dry. But I still absolutely loved it. It wasn't too dry at all. I just did set it with a powder, which is very unusual for me not to set a foundation with a powder. But I really like this. And the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. I'm in the shade Sand. I think I need to go one shade lighter. But this shade does work for me. This is really nice. It very much reminds me of the YSL Touche Clart in kind of texture-wise. I apply it in a very similar way. I rub it in with my hands, apply it with my hands, and then blend it kind of out with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I really like it. I got like three uses out of this one sample, and I have another one, so I'm really excited to have that. But I really liked it. What else? Um, the the Rock Front of the Line Pro liquid liner. So this is actually a brush tip and it is really really easy to use. I have it on today and I kind of did a really dramatic wing today. I have a look for this coming up sometime soon but it's really nice and black and it's really flexible and easy to use and I really like it except it is kind of drying out. I can feel it but I do really like it and I kind of wish we could get Lorac in Australia because this is really cool. Mascara, they're real. You guys know I love this mascara, but got another sample of it out this month, and I love it. I have it on my lashes today, and it can get really voluminous. It can look clumpy, but when you brush, so I do one coat like this, one coat like this, and then brush it through like this, and then it gets some pretty intense lashes going, which I really like. Blushes. I had two blushes in my project pan this month, and I liked both of them. Um, I'm not wearing either one of them today because I don't know. I wanted to do a look, this look, and neither I, the other blush worked really well. Um, Essence Baby Doll has like a shimmer in it. It's super pretty pink. 
and it's just really good for an everyday but if I want something a little bit brighter I have gone for my Clinique Plum Pop blush I can open it and this is really gorgeous like hot pink colour and I really like it it just applies so well and the colour is so vibrant you can really share it out and I really like this the Benefit Creases Cream Shadow in RSVP. I've had this on my lids all month. My go-to look has been using the Steeler in the Light palette, which I left at a friend's house last night. I can't believe it. And I left my favourite lip product as well. But I've had this all over the lid and then um, the dark matte brown all through the crease blended out with the kind of lighter matte brown in the Steeler in the Light palette. And that's it. And I've worn that like all month and I love it. With my favorite lip color, which is a Revlon Matte Balm in the one that's not unapologetic. Oh my gosh, what's the color called? I'll leave it right here when I can remember it. But those are my favorites. I don't know how long this is. I kind of feel like I'm talking really quickly, but that's okay. Look for this coming out possibly next week. I don't know. I have a couple of videos kind of set up for about a month now, so I'm not gonna not sure when this is gonna be up, but it will be up at some point in time. It's really pretty using Laura Pro palette and it's nice and autumn-y, I think. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below on other videos you'd like to see. What products are you loving for the month of April? I'd love to know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!